the world is on the brink of a technological revolution that could redefine the very foundations of transportation, energy, and global industry. Few announcements have caused as much excitement and skepticism as Elon Musk's recent revelation about Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car. This isn't just another electric vehicle or an incremental upgrade to existing technology. It's a radical departure from everything we know about energy consumption. Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean innovator whose name has been steadily rising in tech circles, has developed a vehicle that operates without fossil fuels, charging stations, or traditional battery replacements. His invention, powered by what he describes as a revolutionary energy generation system, challenges the fundamental laws of physics as we understand them. The car is said to harness ambient electromagnetic waves, converting them into usable electric energy, allowing it to run indefinitely without external power input. This concept, once dismissed as pseudoscience, is now gaining credibility thanks to Elon Musk's public endorsement. Musk, a figure synonymous with cutting-edge innovation, has thrown his weight behind Chikumbutso's invention, signaling that this could be the next major leap beyond Tesla's current advancements. The implications of such a breakthrough are staggering, oil-dependent economies could collapse, global supply chains would be upended, and renewable energy sectors might need to pivot entirely. If scalable, this technology could render gas stations, charging networks, and even power grids obsolete, shifting energy independence directly into the hands of consumers. Automakers worldwide are scrambling to assess the threat or opportunity posed by this invention, with some fearing their entire business models could become irrelevant overnight. Beyond transportation, the ripple effects could extend to aviation, shipping, and even space exploration, where self-sustaining energy systems would be revolutionary. The geopolitical landscape would shift dramatically, with oil-rich nations like Saudi Arabia and Russia facing economic crises as demand for crude plummets. Meanwhile, African nations, often sidelined in global tech discussions, could emerge as unexpected leaders in this new industrial era. The scientific community is both intrigued and cautious, as Chikumbutso's invention appears to defy conventional thermodynamics. If proven valid, this could lead to a renaissance in physics, forcing researchers to revisit long-held assumptions about energy and motion. Public reaction has been electrified, with many celebrating the potential environmental benefits. Zero emissions, no reliance on rare earth minerals, and a drastic reduction in pollution. However, skeptics remain, questioning whether the technology is too good to be true or if it can be mass-produced affordably. Financial markets are already reacting, with investors re-evaluating stakes in traditional energy companies and betting on new ventures aligned with self-sustaining systems. Insurance companies, urban planners, and policymakers are also grappling with the potential changes. How do you regulate a car that never needs fuel or maintenance? The psychological impact on society could be profound, reshaping how we think about energy scarcity and consumption. For decades, humanity has operated under the assumption that movement requires fuel. Chikambutso's invention shatters that paradigm. The story of a Zimbabwean innovator challenging global giants is not just about technology. It's a narrative shift in who gets to drive the future. Historically, breakthroughs of this scale have come from Silicon Valley, Europe, or East Asia, this time the disruptor hails from Africa. The implications for developing nations are immense. Regions with poor infrastructure could leapfrog directly into energy independence. Farmers in remote villages, doctors in underserved areas, and small businesses in off-grid communities could gain unprecedented mobility. Yet, challenges remain, will this technology be accessible to all? or will it be monopolized by wealthy corporations? Will governments intervene to slow its adoption, protecting entrenched energy interests? And can the world's infrastructure adapt quickly enough to accommodate such a radical shift? As the debate rages, one thing is clear, Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car isn't just a new vehicle. It's the spark that could ignite a global energy revolution. The coming years will determine whether this invention fades into obscurity or reshape civilization as profoundly as the steam engine or the internet. For now, the world watches, waits, and wonders. Is this the future of transportation, or merely a tantalizing glimpse of what could have been? The answer lies in scalability, adoption, and the willingness of powerful industries to embrace change, or resist it.
As the world grapples with the implications of Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered car, the Ripple, effects extend far beyond the automotive industry. Elon Musk's endorsement has thrust this invention into the global spotlight, forcing governments, corporations, and scientists to confront a future they hadn't anticipated. Legacy automakers, still transitioning from combustion engines to electric vehicles, now face an existential threat. A car that requires no fuel, no charging, and minimal maintenance. The painstakingly built electric vehicle infrastructure, charging stations, battery factories, lithium mines, could become obsolete in a matter of years. Oil giants, already under pressure from renewable energy trends, now confront an even greater challenge a technology that eliminates the need for their product entirely. Geopolitical power structures built on fossil fuel dominance could crumble, reshaping alliances and economic dependencies worldwide. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Russia, and Venezuela, whose economies rely heavily on oil exports, may soon find themselves scrambling to diversify or risk collapse. Meanwhile, Nations investing in green technology and innovation could emerge as the new global leaders in a post-oil era. Africa, often overlooked in technological discussions, now stands at the center of this revolution, thanks to Chikambuzo's Zimbabwean roots. The narrative of innovation is shifting, no longer confined to Silicon Valley or Berlin. Breakthroughs can come from anywhere. This could inspire a new generation of inventors across the global south challenging the traditional centers of technological power. Scientific institutions are being forced to re-examine long-standing principles, as Chikambuzo's invention appears to defy classical thermodynamics. If his energy generation system is validated, it could lead to a new branch of physics, unlocking discoveries we can't yet imagine. Universities may soon offer courses focused on electromagnetic energy harvesting, decentralized power systems, and self-sustaining technologies. The environmental impact could be transformative. Imagine cities free from smog, oceans no longer threatened by oil spills, and a dramatic reduction in carbon emissions. Even renewable energy sectors like solar and wind may need to adapt, as self-powered technology reduces reliance on large-scale grid systems. Urban landscapes would change. Gas stations could disappear, replaced by nothing at all. Roadside assistance services, auto repair shops, and even car dealerships might need to reinvent themselves in a world where vehicles never break down. The economic implications are profound. What happens to industries built around fuel distribution, engine maintenance, and charging networks? Millions of jobs could be displaced, while entirely new sectors emerge around this technology's production and upkeep. Consumer behavior would shift. Why lease a car when one could last a lifetime without recurring costs? The very concept of car ownership might evolve, with vehicles becoming permanent fixtures rather than depreciating assets. In developing nations, where fuel scarcity and poor infrastructure limit mobility, this invention could be life-changing. Rural farmers could transport goods to market without worrying about fuel costs, doctors could reach remote patients reliably, and students could attend distant schools. Humanitarian efforts would benefit immensely, disaster relief vehicles that never run out of power, mobile clinics operating indefinitely, and supply chains unbroken by fuel shortages. The military applications are equally staggering. Drones that never land, submarines with unlimited range, and field operations unhindered by fuel logistics. Yet, with such power comes ethical dilemmas. Will this technology be weaponized? Will it be controlled by a few corporations or democratized for global benefit? Intellectual property battles loom. Will Chikambuzo's patents hold? Or will governments step in to mandate sharing for public good? Financial systems must adapt. How do you insure a car that doesn't degrade? How do banks structure loans for vehicles that don't lose value? The resale market could vanish, disrupting an entire economic ecosystem built around vehicle turnover. Cultural perceptions of energy will shift, no longer a scarce resource to be rationed, but something abundant and self-renewing. This could redefine humanity's relationship with consumption, sustainability, and progress. Art, literature, and media will likely explore these themes, imagining futures where energy scarcity is a relic of the past. Opposition is inevitable. Oil lobbies, automakers, and even governments may resist, 
fearing economic upheaval. Legal challenges, regulatory hurdles, and smear campaigns could slow adoption, as seen with past disruptive technologies. But if history has taught us anything, true innovation cannot be suppressed forever. The genie is out of the bottle, and the world must now decide how to wield this power. Will it lead to equitable progress or deepen existing inequalities? Will it empower individuals or consolidate control in the hands of a few? The answers depend on how humanity chooses to integrate this breakthrough. One thing is certain, Maxwell Chikambutso's invention is more than a car. It's a challenge to the status quo, a test of our adaptability, and perhaps the key to a cleaner, freer future. The road ahead is uncharted, but the destination could be extraordinary. The question is no longer, is this possible? But are we ready?